So we're just under a house here in Rouse Hill and you can see we've got some subfloor fans in here which have been put in to try and minimise the rising damp. Uh, but what happens when you increase the ventilation under a house, uh, you increase the level of evaporation through the bricks and the mortar, which brings more salts and more water up through the bricks, causing more damage faster. Now you can see here, this mortar is falling apart, and the external of the house is quite bad as well. We'll duck out and have a look. So putting your ventilation in here will actually speed this process up. You can see it's all just falling apart there. On the base of this pier we have all this dust from, from the mortar. I'll just show you what's happening on the outside of the house here. Now this house is quite young, but they've put the damp course quite high in the wall, up at about this level here. So we've got water coming up from the ground on a sloping property. And all this, this texture coat's coming off. And you can see it's happening around the whole house here. That's because the damp course has been put too high in the building. And it's causing a lot of issues. Now we can see here, if we have a close look, this mortar is starting to deteriorate here. And even though it's a young house, they'll start to have quite a lot of issues with the uh, bricks falling out and floors will start to move and could even go as far as having cracks in gyp rock and things like that. You can see here on the corner of the garage it's quite bad. The bricks are just falling apart. And that's because the damp course is too high in the bricks.